Okay, welcome back to my channel guys and today we are going to be talking about the new event called Dangerous Mission on a Neon Night. But we're going to switch things up a little and we're going to be talking about the recharge event first because it shows up first. And it is more known as a spider girl mostly because there are spiders on her chest and there's a spider on her hat. But I just want to say it's also like a butterfly suit because her dress is literally like a butterfly wing. It's composed of butterfly wings and there's a lot of butterflies in the area. So you could say that she's kind of trapped in a web of, um, not lies but just like in a web but at the same time she looks pretty unperturbed about the situation so is she a butterfly or is she a spider i don't know she could be a butter spider i'd like to just say that i'm pretty disappointed that this outfit is 20 dollars because it is a dark skin toned outfit it, there is a darker skin tone pose and it just sucks because every time that a dark skin toned outfit is introduced to the server it's almost always a recharge so that really sets up a wall like a paywall between the pocs who actually want to to be using these poses it's pretty annoying like i wish that there are actually events that we can play and we can use in-game currency to spend on that introduce darker skin tone outfits nevertheless this outfit is pretty pretty and it's actually relatively new it came on the cn server fairly recently and it's part of a cumulative recharge line so this is the actual most expensive suit of that line it's about 20 dollars usd and it comes with two dress poses two makeups and one movable accessory but and before i move on to the other two suits i just wanted to say that the unposed version of this outfit is actually really pretty i love how there is like a giant butterfly wing on the very front but with this one i feel like this overall aesthetic is over use and when I mean aesthetic I don't mean like the actual color scheme but I actually mean like the way she's sitting and the background items because trust me I feel like we've had a lot of these giant background items that look like vanities it just seems like it's been recycled over and over again and if we look at her hair as well it's like I feel like we've had about 20 of these gray to black ombre hairs and these giant hats are just not my thing so to move along, I just wanted to show you the cumulative recharge line that came on the Chinese server. So if you actually spent a dollar, um, you would first get the Dragon Boat Racing Momo. He's kind of cute, but at the same time, like I can never see myself using any of these Momos because like, when would you ever be able to create something that has this, right? Like it also looks like it's a different type of art style, so it doesn't really match up as well. And as for the second part of the recharge line, there are these kitty made suits and they come with a pose, so it's kind of cute. So if you spend about two to three dollars, you would get one of these suits. If you spend three to four dollars you would get one of the recolors and if you spend about six dollars then you would get both recolors so all three of these suits. I don't know how I feel about these suits. By the way, they don't come with the makeup. It comes with the pose coat and I kind of really dig that coat because it's really, really cute. And thank God it's not part of the dress. So there's that going for them. But overall, the style of it, I'm not sure I really like it. It just seems a little bit messy to me, but the cat paws are a nice touch, I guess. So all in all, I can't confirm whether these are part of the recharge lineup coming to our server because we've only been shown the $20 set. I don't know if there have been any updates at the time of my video or at the time of recording my video but so far it seems like we have the $20 suit so moving along um, we are going to talk about the main event which is the dangerous mission on a neon night so for this one it is a 2v2 style contest and you are collecting top secret which is a type of currency and you're using top secret to unlock the suits neon kiss and luxury and grace so for these type of battles it really really sucks because these type of events are formatted to be tiered events meaning you can't choose the items individually and you'll have to just get them in a tier fashion and another bad thing about these events are that you can't choose which suit you're gonna get first so if you like luxury and grace you're actually out of luck because you actually have to get neon kiss first so neon kiss costs about 1590 diamonds on average and it's on average because depending on how many battles you win or lose it affects how many currency you get and that in turns affect how expensive the outfit can get so if you lose all your battles then it would be 1740 diamonds max and for both suits it's on average 2940 diamonds so if we round that up that's about like 3000 diamonds and it would be a total of 3180 diamonds max if you lose all your battles to subjectively speak about these suits i don't like them because of my own aesthetic like i don't see myself ever using them maybe besides the blue hair from neon kiss however objectively speaking I think that Neon Kiss in itself, like if I'm not using it and if I'm like judging the overall suit by itself, I think that it's a very, very pretty suit that lives up to its name. It's very, would I say retro? I'm not too sure, but like Neon Kiss, it fits the neon aesthetic. And um, when I think of something back in the, I don't know, 70s or 60s or whatever year this is in, this is what I see. So I feel like they nailed this aesthetic very well. So actually, if I had to rate it on like a objective level, I think it's like an 8 out of 10 plus the makeup is actually 
actually really, really pretty. However, for Luxury and Grace, um, not so much. I feel like this is just a mess of a suit. They just put so much fabric together. It doesn't seem like there's a coherent, like I don't even know if she's wearing a dress, a top, a bottom. Like she feels like she has three coats on and her hat looks ridiculous. I'm sorry. I know a lot of you guys are fans of big hats, but I'm not really a fan of them myself. The only saving grace for this is like the glass tower she's leaning on because of the gradient of the purple to blue liquid. But if I'm looking at this, she looks like a clothes pole, you know, like a coat pole. That's what she looks like and it looks like they just piled up fabric upon fabric upon fabric for this outfit and she looks like a gigantic mess. So if I actually had to rate it, I think I'd give it like a 3 out of 10 because her makeup and her hair are just not it and her hat and her coat are also not really it and her pose is like whatever because it comes with like the whole dress I think and her dress or whatever that is is also not it. So I mean at this point I think it's like a 1 out of 10 but then again like the item she has beside her it's pretty nice so maybe a 2 out of 10. So yeah. Yeah, I would give it a 2 out of 10. And if I had to circle back to the original recharge suit, I am struggling with this because the makeup is really pretty and I love how there's a dark skin tone makeup with it. However, I want to take away points because it costs money. Like it costs real life money and I don't like the hat. And the only thing that I really like about this outfit is her dress. Even the background item she's sitting on, I'm not really a big fan of because the big butterflies in the back, it just seems to ruin the aesthetic. I feel like if they only had this vanity looking thing without the two butterflies in the center, it would look way better. But because of that, it just kind of makes it look tacky. Like it looks like a tacky bejeweled crystal that was slapped onto it and I'm not a big fan of that. So if I have to rate it, I think it would be like a 6 out of 10 and that's solely because of the makeup and the dress. Like if it wasn't for the dress or the makeup, then I think that the suit would also be like a 3 out of 10. And sorry, just to circle back again, I just want to say like the aesthetic of just leaning on stuff and like sitting on stuff that look like big picture frames, I feel like it's been reused so many times. Like the fashion girls that we recently had, it's not like the exact same aesthetic, but at the same time, it just gives me the same vibes. I don't know why. Maybe because like the first golden girl, she's like leaning on something, just how like the luxury and grace suit is leaning on something. And then how the picture frame girl is also sitting on something, which is very similar to Neon Kiss, which is sitting on something and all in all like I, I'm just kind of tired of seeing all these pigeon Lilith um, like I don't even know I think th these were apple suits but they look very similar to each other I just want to see more of the ruin of more north of more wasteland suits because I'm just getting tired or even more troop suits that would be very interesting as well and uh, the holiday suits all in all I just feel like really tired of the game I just feel like a lot of the things we see is repeated over and over again and I haven't been spending any time diamonds recently. I think I have about 18,000 diamonds right now so if I skip this event I think I can hit 20,000 diamonds and hopefully by then I'll be ready for the hell event because those events are actually really pretty with the suits that I like so yeah I've been skipping a lot of events because I feel like I'm kind of losing touch with the game. I'm just waiting for that one event to just bring me back in and hopefully not a lot of you are feeling the same way. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you're going to be participating in this event, if you're going to be getting the recharge, how you feel about the recharge being a dark skin toned. Again, that is 20 bucks, so there is a paywall. And um, anything else in your life because I feel like I haven't been on YouTube for a while now and I do miss talking to you guys. So yeah, give me any updates in your life and I'll try to reply. Thank you guys for watching and if you like this type of content, remember to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!